Probably good to start, yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right, then. Let's rock and roll. Uh, that's a new button. No, they're already muted. They're already muted. Okay. No, we're already muted. Okay, my bad. Okay, so first things first, I'm not going to bother full screening. Simply switching back and forth between Google and uh, some other clips. Matt, again, I'm John Silvestri. I'm one of the uh, original members of the Inventors Guild. I've done a fireside chat. Every semester since fireside chats have been a thing, except for the ones where I was on co-op. Uh, what's what's picking on my voice? That's weird. Okay, I'm hearing reverb. That's probably just the room. I haven't talked to you before. It's the room. So um, usually, when I get fireside chats, just a little about myself, I am really obsessed with hobbies. I like finding fun things. I like picking up new hobbies. It's like all my fireside chats have been like competitive Pokemon, board games, uh, theme park engineering, things like that. Hobbies and the importance thereof, because that's, that's what really gets me going. So today, I'm going to share something I'm not entirely super knowledgeable about, but a new hobby I'm in the process of picking up. So hopefully, I can figure out some new things about what I like as myself, and hopefully I can share some cool stuff with you guys along the way. And that new hobby is uh, watching films. Rather, not just films, but visual storytelling. So I guess the first question is, what makes me qualified to discuss visual storytelling? As you can see, there's absolutely nothing on that slide. <laughs> because here's the beauty of it. So my resume, if you will, I have read Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I don't even count the books. I'm obsessed with stories. I like getting in the head of characters. I like seeing character development, epic scenes, speeches, you know, all that good stuff. Stories, Dungeons and Dragons, movies, TV, everything. I just, I appreciate a good story. And that in itself makes me qualified to say what I like and what I don't about stories and how they're presented. As an avid consumer, that's what it's all about. So first things first, I remember during a James Fireside chat, he mentioned 
you probably think of elitism when you think of certain things, right? For example, if I say film critic or I'm into movies, you probably immediately think snobbish. Oh, if you only watch a Citizen Kane and all that stuff, right? The first thing to say is no, I don't watch Citizen Kane a thousand times on repeat. Because a movie doesn't have to be critically good for it to be fun. Either way, it's entertainment, and that's what you get out of it. It's all about what you get out of it. So even if a movie is considered bad, you can still love it, that's perfectly fine. Because the art of appreciating movies, in my opinion, is learning to appreciate certain elements from all of them. I have absolutely no shame in saying that some of my favorite movies are objectively awful, but they're just fun. Like, anyone ever heard of Death Race? Yeah. That is a horrendous movie, but I fucking love it. Part of the French. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, that's just what I want to talk about. Just real quick pedigree is anyone is qualified to say what they like or don't like about movies, right? So the first things first is, why have I recently made the switch from books to visual storytelling? Not necessarily made the switch, but you know, been doing more of one than the other. I've skewed my balance, if you will. These three be mostly books with a little bit of visual storytelling. Now I've kind of been getting older, switching that. The first things first is, there's some things you can do in visuals that you can't do in text no matter how hard you try. So like I said, a lot of this is going to be me showing clips and talking about them. So this is one of my favorite scenes to express something you can do in a film that you can't do in a book. This is from the movie 500 Days of Summer. It's the expectations versus reality scene. Where in... Where the lights don't work. There we go. Basically, it'll... Video game from the 
first person, obviously. Right? When you launch the new Wendy's for the guy doesn't talk to the video, they go out talking over video games. So this is a scene that is going to really take advantage of the fact that it is a first person medium. Oh my god. Super dumb we got these great deals at Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna skip ahead a little bit because this is a long scene. We're gonna skip around. So it's begun. The cashmere's all alone there. If Ryan didn't know we were back before, I'm sure now he's got the message. What do you want? Between the pink and your prefrontal 